How to create a interior for Amazon KDP on Canva. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your interior for your journals on Canva for Amazon KDP. So let's get into it. First off, you're actually going to take a look at Amazon and you're going to see the different kinds of journals that are very popular, that have a lot of reviews and ratings and that are probably maybe best sellers or um, something that is generating a lot of sales currently. You're going to take a look at those and you're gonna take a look at their dimensions. So let's just take a look at their product details. And over here you can see this journal is six by nine inches. And you can also take a look inside to see what kind of pages that they are creating. So you have a general estimate of what your journal should look like. Now taking a look at another one of these. So the first page is usually the name page and then they have the copyright page some details about the journal and then the journal itself. Now, taking a look at their dimensions, also this journal is 7.5 into 9.25 inches. So this one is 7.99 into 7.99 inches. So it just really depends. Now this journal is actually a bestseller. So I'm actually gonna take a look at its dimensions. So six by nine, and I'm going to opt for creating a six by nine inch journal. Why? Because it's the bestseller. It obviously has some edge over a different size. That's why it's selling more. So I'm just going to replicate their dimensions. Now, taking a look at Canva, this is their home page, and you're going to click on custom size. And usually the size is in pixels, but you're going to change that into inches. So now we're going to change the width which is 9.25 and height which is 9.25 now the reason why i've added 0.25 in both of the height and width is because it's called the bleed and that's like where the part uh, our pages are going to be cut and it can sometimes roll over and you can see on the sides what it looks like so you want to make sure you actually account for that and we're going to click on create new design now we're going to go for a self-care feminine kind of journal about feelings and positivity and stuff like that so we're gonna click on elements we're gonna click on pink we're just gonna search pink and elements and we're gonna use this as our background so you can see over here we have this nice pink sky looking uh, background and we're gonna place it on our canvas like so then I'm gonna expand it like so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna look for some kind of scribble to write over. So like this, this looks pretty decent. Now I'm gonna expand it. I'm gonna place it over here or maybe this one. Actually, I prefer this one. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna change the color because I want it to match my background so i'm gonna change it out to be a bit more pink this and this yeah now it looks good like so now i'm gonna make sure it's centered now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on text and i'm gonna add any kind of text that i like so you can add one of these pre-made fonts so they're very good to add if you don't want to spend a lot of time thinking about design i would suggest you use these or you could add a font and customize it according to your own needs i'm just gonna go with one of the pre-made fonts so this one what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove this element i'm gonna write this journal belongs to now i'm gonna resize it and i'm gonna place it on top of this white block that i created and that's gonna allow the user to write their name I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to make this a darker pink. Yeah, like so. And now I'm going to add another page. And on the second page, I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it so it has the same background. And then at the bottom of this page, I'm going to add some copyright information. So your second page is usually going to be about uh, how this uh, notebook cannot be copied. So there's a standard copyright text that you can just copy off of Google. So you can just add no part of this publication. You're just going to add whatever the copyright text for your company might be. Or you can just copy it off of Google and you're going to add that to the bottom of the next page. Like so. Now I'm just going to go on elements 
and I'm gonna search square. I'm just gonna place this golden square around my little copyright text because even though this is like a non-essential like essential kind of thing, you still wanna make sure that it looks good. So I think that one is a bit thinner. I'm gonna opt for something a bit more thick, like so. And that's gonna be your second page. Now you're gonna add another page. You're gonna copy your background, so Control C and then Control V. You're gonna have the same background. And you're gonna add some text about the aesthetic of the journal. So maybe if this journal is about mindfulness, you're gonna add some text about that. So you're just gonna add your text or you can just add a welcome page. Welcome to, and now I'm gonna change the color to white and I'm gonna add some effect. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow. Yeah, like so, and I'm gonna center my text. Now I'm gonna add my next page. And from here on out, you're actually gonna start adding your journal pages. So these are the initial pages you're gonna have to design. After that, you're not really gonna even have to design any of the pages. So you're just gonna make one standard page and you're gonna copy it over and over again. So you're just gonna add text, date, today. Now I'm just gonna zoom in a bit on the page so you guys can see how to really design your page. Now I'm gonna go in elements and I'm gonna select this design or this line kind of design. You can even add like a dotted line if you want. I'm gonna make it straight like so. Now I'm gonna add a pink swatch behind it. So you're gonna search for flowers. You're gonna go in graphics and you can pick any kind that you like. I think this one looks nice so gonna do that you're gonna resize it and place it behind the text to add a bit more of a design element now you can also add some wreaths to cover the other side of the date or you can add some of your flower patterns to the bottom of the page so we're gonna do that on the other side what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this I'm gonna rotate it vertically and so I'm gonna add it like that. Now you're gonna add your text again. So what I am grateful for today. Once you write that, you're gonna position it below your name or the date like so. I'm gonna change the color to pink. Change the color of this as well and to make this. Now I'm gonna go in elements and I'm gonna search for thick lines and I'm going to go in graphics and I'm going to select this little swatch over here or maybe this one I think this one looks best so what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it a bit and I'm going to change the color into something that is light so it doesn't uh, look too heavy when someone writes over it so you're gonna make sure it's like a light pastel kind of pink it's nothing too harsh now you're gonna copy it and paste it on the other side as well you're gonna add two columns or two rows make sure everything is aligned correctly so i'm gonna move this to this side a bit now i'm gonna add some more text below this I'm gonna write and now I'm just gonna copy these once more and I'm gonna place them right below and now you're gonna add some more text now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a dotted line from elements so I'm gonna go in elements I'm gonna go in lines and shapes and you can see this kind of dotted line I'm gonna add that under all of our text in our paper like so and this is how you create your page so after you have created your uh, initial page you're just gonna click on duplicate page and you're just gonna keep on duplicating it however much you want you can add some more accent pages so like after 10 pages you can add like a total blank page and let's just say you're gonna add a new page you're gonna copy this I'm gonna move it down here actually I'll make it a bit different so you're gonna go back in elements you're gonna go in circle gonna add this kind of circle you're gonna add it to the top 
and then you're gonna add a thick line so just take a look at all of the designs make sure you actually like what you're creating you want something that's dynamic that but that doesn't feel overwhelming because if your creation looks like you know it, it has too much written over it people aren't gonna purchase it because it seems like something that is you know not trendy you want to make sure that whatever you create is on trend so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna write add this and i'm gonna add some text it says random thoughts or just this could be the feeling catharsis page and you can add this page after every 10 pages just to make it non-repetitive because people might feel like your journal is repetitive if it has you know the same kind of things over and over again i'm going to change the color of the fit of the text and like so you can leave it like this or you can actually go in elements you're going to go in the lines and shapes and then you're going to add this line below it extend it change the color to gray make sure whenever you're creating lined pages you don't actually use total black lines because those are too dark uh, lined pages should actually be gray so you're just gonna do that copy that and then i'm gonna copy the text and i'm gonna add draw your feelings and i'm gonna add a pink flower over here and on the side of the page i'm just gonna add this we're gonna search paint we're gonna go in graphics we're gonna add this pink background to our text like so and there you have it you have designed your journal for amazon kdp i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and are now able to actually create your own journals that aren't just blank pages or aligned pages something that is creative and different and that pops off from the rest so i'll catch you guys in the next video and make sure to drop a like and a sub